Yeah, so look, I don't think anybody is innately qualified to be president. You need to approach this job with humility. But here's the thing that's distinctive about me. I'm not running on somebody else's vision. I'm running on a vision that I've developed for this country over the last three years. I made a personal sacrifice. I started a multi-billion dollar biotech company. I developed a number of drugs. Five of them are approved drugs today. One's for prostate cancer. But I stepped down to address this different kind of cancer at a moment where very few elite educated executives were willing to do it, almost none. And I've been on a mission over the last five years to revive that missing American, over that last three years in particular, to revive that missing national identity in America. And I think the thing for me is I think we're in the middle of this national identity crisis. Most people my age, really any age, can't even answer what it means to be an American today. I have a vision on what the answer to that question should okay. be. It involves reviving the ideals that set this nation into motion. I believe deep in my bones those ideals still exist. And I'm running for president to revive them. And I believe that I'm actually the person who can actually unify this country, right. which is something that I think we badly need. The, the That's George Soros reference came from